most people have a, a basic urge to understand in terms of the way we go about understanding. We no longer take stories on trust. We, we check them. Over the centuries, it's developed into what we now call modern science. CERN is a great place for training young physicists, even if they're not, in the long run, going to stay in particle physics, because the, the sort of experience they, they, they get there enables them to, to do many other things. There are quite a number of people who start off keen on getting a, a, a doctorate in, in particle physics and spend time at CERN, and then they realize other things they can do with the skills they've acquired. There's a spin-off there for uh, other parts of physics, just as there's a spin-off in terms of applications of you know, technical breakthroughs which have been involved in, in the discoveries at CERN itself, in the building of the machine and the, uh, and the detectors and, and all the rest. Well, I think there's further excitement to, to come in, in the field itself because we have to continue this quest of this discovery which involves building bigger machines like the FCC. FCC would be one of the most important components of the future scene of the particle physics machines. When you're planning a big machine and, and what, what the machine can do, you have to allow for the possibility that there are no theoreticians around who, who know the answer already and you, you, you'd better keep your options open. The problem with the LHC was that the public got far too much of an impression that it was built to, to look for the particle which has my name on it, whereas in fact it, it, it was built with a, with a very broad spectrum of objectives, some of which were perhaps rather vague because they didn't know where they would eventually be going. Because we know so little about the universe, we understand only a few percent of it in terms of its content. The question mark is over the nature of, of dark matter, which constitutes a large proportion of what remains. It's clear from what we observe that there's something else that, other than the matter we have previously observed. So we have to go on doing this to complete our understanding. Yes, we've scratched the surface, but we, we have clearly much more to, to discover.